Eight US national titles, a double world champion on the track, and only the third American to wear the leader's jersey at the Giro d'Italia, and still only 23 years old. Taylor Finney represents both the future and present of US road racing. And cycling is very much in this young American's DNA. His father, Davis, was a two-time Tour de France stage winner. His mother, Connie Carpenter, an Olympic gold medalist. But ever since turning pro in 2010, Taylor has been making a name for himself. I feel like I'm kind of a veteran, but I still feel like I have a, a long ways to go. Um, I've been very happy with the way my career has gone. You know, I think I had really realistic expectations of myself coming into the pro ranks, and I knew you know, this is a this is a professional sport, and, and it's a sport that takes time to reach the top. And, and uh, I've been able to to consistently progress every single year. At the Tour of Dubai in February, victory in the opening day's time trial against a world-class field set him up for the general classification and the most significant win of his career. For me, it's a it's a really really nice positive result and uh, my first stage race victory as a pro. Um, and a, a really solid time trial victory in front of, you know, a guy like Tony Martin, who I've never beaten in a time trial before. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just another step up in the whole in the whole uh, process of getting to the top of the stairway. Twice a winner at the under 23 version of Paris Roubaix, and following a seventh place finish at last year's Milan San Remo. The next stage of Finney's career will see him try and emulate another time trial specialist turned classics master. Ever since I turned pro, I had a pretty clear idea of, of the kind of rider that I wanted to become. Um, I look at somebody like Fabian Cancellara, I've always kind of idolized him ever since I got into the sport, mainly because I saw myself as a similar rider, uh, somebody who excels in time trials, but is also a, a classic one day rider. You know, it's not like I uh, have posters of Fabian at home uh, or anything, but for sure I look up to him in the sense that I'd like to be the kind of rider that he is. Taylor's character was clearly demonstrated during the 2013 Torino Adriatico. Finney started the day safe in the peloton, looking ahead to the time trial the following day, but he was soon dropped with a host of other riders. While Peter Sagan was buoyed home by a cheering crowd, Taylor rode the last 120 kilometers completely alone after the rest of the Gruppetto quit, motivated by just one thought. I started to think a lot about my dad. Um, he has Parkinson's. He's had Parkinson's since 2000. And, you know, I've, I started to think of the kind of struggle that he goes through just on a daily basis. And uh, finally made it to the finish, but I uh, was two or three minutes out of time delay. I was like 39 minutes down. Um, but by that point, you know, I, I knew it, the ride was less about trying to make it to the time trial and, and more about, you know, sort of proving something to myself and, 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 and honoring, uh, you know, my dad, because I was thinking about him and honoring the sport and the race. Taylor makes his Tour de France debut in July, and while his chief responsibility will be to support countryman TJ Van Garderen for the GC, the penultimate day's time trial could afford him the opportunity to follow in his father's pedal strokes and win a stage at the Tour. A 50-plus kilometre time trial by itself is already pretty terrible, but a 50-plus kilometre time trial at the end of the Tour de France is going to be absolutely brutal. I think there'll be a lot of um, time trial training under fatigue for me in the next couple months because for sure that uh, that is a big opportunity on the penultimate day of the Tour de France. As a US rider at the Tour, great expectations have been placed on Finney to erase the shame of the Lance Armstrong doping scandal. But he insists the pressure does not get to him. For sure, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, sometimes it's, uh, you know, I'm like, what do you want from me? But, uh, but for the most part, I'm, I'm able to, uh, to kind of quell that side of things and uh, stay really positive. And I know in a couple years from now, if not this year, next year, I'll be up there and, and uh, you know, starting to become more of a major player. But, you know, there's. There's big steps that you have to make 